let's do this. What's up guys, what's up? Just gonna let people come in. And then we'll get started, we'll warm up. Alright Ellen. I know, tell me about it. I thought it was. I thought it was uh, I thought it was Sunday today. And then it just <laughs> it dawns on you. Everything merges into one. You're gonna think someone's uh, hurt me or hated on me today, Ellen, because uh, your leg, your legs are gonna burn. I'll give everyone about twenty more seconds, and we'll warm up. A few more people come on in. Hey, Claire, you're all right. Okay, right, let's get yourselves warmed up. So, find a little space, make sure you've got enough room around you. Just lightly jog on the spot, just on your toes. Nice and gentle. We're gonna work our legs a lot, so we'll get a good stretch in them today. If you feel happy, just speed it up a little bit, bring your knees up a little bit too. Just get Keep that going, keep that going. And lovely. Hands on the bum. Just flick up those heels, gently touch the bum with your hand. Keep the hips forward, chest up. Keep going, keep going. And hold it there. I want you to give me five squats, nice and deep. Push the hips through and up. Three, four, one more. Push the hips, squeeze the glutes. Feel the stretch run through your quad, into your hip flexor. Hold it there. And shake that one out, bring the other leg up. Again, have something to hold on to if you need. If not, if you back yourself, go for it. Push the hips through, stay nice and tall. Hold it there and shake it out. We're going to put one leg in front of the other and we're just going to gently swing down and back up. Swing down, try and brush the floor with your fingertips. Keep that front leg straight and you're just bending with this side leg. Just get nice and low. Go through the hamstring and change the leg over. Other leg straight, still same thing. Try to keep that leg pretty straight. And gently graze the floor with your fingertips and back up. Go okay, one more time. Lovely. Shake that off. Good job. You're going to go foot to the opposite hand. 
Just start gentle, get into a rhythm, and when you're happy, you can speed it up a little bit. Just gonna get the glutes going, fired up, get that hip mobility going. Everything we're doing today is pretty much legs and then one core exercise. Hold that off. Little rotate around the middle, open everything up. Hopefully you've not been stuck at a desk too much, hunched over, you've been able to move around. Open yourselves up to the ceiling, back down. Nice and tall. Oh, we're up there, back down. Good. Go one more time. Lovely. And just shake it off a little bit, loosen yourselves out. We've got seven exercises we're doing. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Don't worry, Ellen, it'll be fine. Hey, Joe. Two Joes. Hey, Joe. It's Joe. So, find your space. We're going to do 30 seconds on each exercise. There's seven exercises. First round, I'm going to just break it down for you. And the second one will be a bit easier. And the third one, it's going to be hard, but you're going to know what you're doing. So the first one is very, very simple exercise. You can use your hands as a guide or you can pump them at the same time. All we're going to do is we're going to come into a march and then speed up into a high knees. So high knees if you can. If not, just marching nice and fast and hard. Okay? So 30 seconds. As hard as you can with those high knees. Get them really, really high. Hip height ideally. Let's go. So just pump your arms at the same time if you want. Helps me out, it's just feel like I'm just running. If you want to use yourself as a guide, see how high I need to go. Contact time on the floor is minimal. You're just touching and back down, touching back down. You got 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going, pump those arms, get those knees up. And lovely, hold it there. So staying nice and tall. You mean one leg back, touch the floor with it. Change the leg, alternating the reverse lunges, let's go. Back, and back, back into the middle. Gently touch that back leg on the floor. If you find this is quite hard on your knees, it shouldn't be, because we're going backwards and putting the pressure off of the knee. Just do it to the range where you feel comfortable. You don't have to go all the way down. Just come up, back. You find the range, you've got 10 seconds. Alternating, so it should be just Slightly easier on the legs. That's not to say the next lot isn't going to be. Hold it there. Fairly wide with your feet. You're going to touch down the floor, come back up, out, touch the floor, the other hand. Okay, get into the rhythm. Let's go. Touch the floor, feet back together, back apart, touch the floor. See how fast you can do it. It's about pacing yourself. Challenge it but make sure you can do the whole 30 seconds. Squatting to get down, we're not touching our back to touch it, we're squatting low. Five seconds. Whew. Lovely. Floor time. From here, knees bent, we're gonna raise our hips to the sky, squeeze our bum, back down, nice and controlled, let's go. Squeeze the bum at the top, back down, squeeze at the top. Have that squeeze at the top for about half a second. Make sure you're really focusing on the bum. Halfway, let's go, keep going. bring one leg up at a time and back change it over change it over mountain climbers off you go if this is too hard for you just slow it down go one foot back other foot back if you can find it a little bit too easy then just speed up get a nice rhythm one you're happy with and you can't say you're happy with just staying still so keep moving seconds slow it down if you need it's fine Otherwise, get a nice pace going. These are hard, they're meant to be. Two, one, hold it. Up onto your feet. Need a bit of room to either side of you. We're gonna go curtsy lunge. 
What that looks like is you're gonna come behind you, back up, behind you into the side of the other leg. Similar to a reverse lunge, let's go. One across, back up, one across, back up. Same thing, if this is just a bit too hard for you, just come to this point here. You don't have to bring the knee all the way down. Ideally, you're coming nice and low, but if you feel it too much on your knees, just come to the side, slight bend, back up for the rest of you, all the way down, all the way. Feel it in your glute as you power up. Last one, lovely, onto the floor. Last exercise, air bike. We're getting our abs in. You're gonna come up with your shoulders, your elbows gonna to go to the opposite knee, then vice versa. Doesn't have to touch the knee, but you're making that motion towards it. Let's go. Doesn't matter about the pace that your legs are going at. What matters is that you've got tension on the stomach the whole time and you're rotating through that plane. Keep going, keep going. 10 seconds left. Come on, come on, come on, fight it, fight it. Three, two, one. Time. Little breather. Just get a sweat on. Let's go, Kerry, let's go. <laughs> Ellen, that's your, that's your own fault for doing 30k on the bike. I never told you to do it. You know what you had coming in. Oh, I'm getting warm. Window open now. Excuse my face. This barnet getting long. It needs a trim. And no, I'm not letting my mum or my brother or my dad anywhere near this. And I'm not shaving it off. You don't want to see me in the gym with a bald head. Right, you've got about 15, 20 seconds left of rest. We're gonna go through the same thing. Nice and fast on the, on the, on the knee rises. On the knee rises? That's not what they're called. On the high knees. That's why I've got it written down, because I'm a bit thick. Right, get yourself back to where we started. Find your space. We're going high knees, pump the arms at the same time or use them as a guide. You're trying to aim for hip, you're trying to get to a nice 90. Ready? And let's go. Nice and high, pump the arms. Doesn't matter about speed, you're just getting those knees up. This is going to work. Get a little bottom and lower of your abs as well as your legs because we're driving them up. 10 seconds. Pump, pump, pump. Come on, come on. Nice and fast. And hold it there. We're going into our reverse lunge, alternating leg. I like to change, put my opposite arm at the same time. It helps me balance. Let's go. So if my left. Remember, we're bending our knees to touch the floor. We're not arching our back. Keeping that chest up. Touch the floor. Change the hand. Keep going. You've got 10 seconds. Come on, come on, I'm doing it with you. Two, one. Lovely, we're going on the floor. Let's get those bums. Let's pop them. Heels on the floor, let's go, hips up to the side, squeeze, that down, squeeze, down. You really want to make sure those hips are trying to touch the ceiling, they're going as high as they can go, and then squeezing with your bum at the top of it.
right? How fast you're really going. We just want that tension on the stomach. We want those legs up and down. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Up you come, back onto your feet. This one's our curtsy lunge. This is behind our leg and to the side. Let's go. One leg across, back up. We're over halfway into the session already, guys. Killing it, keep going. Come on, come on, come on. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Last bit, air bike on the floor. Remember, pump those legs and try and make the elbow come towards the opposite knee. Let's go. Drive it. Just make the effort to get the elbow across. If it starts to become a bit too much, just keep it there, shoulders off the floor, pump those legs. You've got 10 seconds, keep it going. Look, it doesn't matter, you don't have to do the arms if it gets too much, but start with it. Three, two, one. Woo! Lovely job, Lee. Rest time. Oh. No, Brian. Don't text and drive, Brian. Should have a nice sweat going on. We need that vitamin D in our lives. Gab your breath. You've got about 20 seconds more rest. We're going to go on the last circuit through. And then we'll have one leg challenge to finish. And then we'll cool down. Simple as that. Half an hour's work. Boom. Right. Last sip of water. Or water, as my mum would tell me. Okay, we're going back into our space. Our first ones, those high knees, keep them pumping. Touching the floor, okay? We're not landing fully, but tap, tap, tap. Eight, and high knees, let's go. Pump them up. Bring them nice and high. Look at this, look how high my knees are coming. I want you. Put those hands out if you need to. Use them as a guide. Otherwise, pump and drive your arms. Well, watch that knee doesn't wobble. Mine almost did, looking at the watch. And hold it there. Feet wide, we're going into our hour and in, so we're touching the floor. Legs back in, legs out. Floor again with the opposite arm. Let's go. Back in. Keep going. Nice pace, keep it going, keep it going. Come on, come on. Nice and fast, nice and fast. Let's go, let's go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Smashed it, we're down on the floor. We're gonna go into our glute bridge. 
So we're down, our hips coming. Let's go. Take it in your own time. These are hard. Once it gets too much, slow it down. Don't stop those legs going up and down. Just take the pace off a little bit. Go one at a time a little bit slower. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, onto your feet. Find your space, curtsy lunge, leg behind and knee bend. Chest up as well, let's go. Get that leg across and up. Opposite arm to the knee that's bent, keeps me a little bit more stable. Bending, my right arm comes up, vice versa. Come on, come on, come on, keep pushing. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Last little bit, air bike. Get that motion. Let's go. Up the legs. Keep going, keep going guys. Don't give up on it, you're halfway through. Keep those legs pumping if you can't get your elbow across. Come on. Five. Two. One. Hold it. Smashing. Sorry if I keep cutting out. By the internet, hey, what are you gonna do? Ooh, nice and sweaty now. Right, you've got about 30 seconds of rest. That. Do one last leg, leg exercise, and then we'll do a little cool down, and you will be done. Those of you who will be back next next time tomorrow in the morning, I'll be here Wednesday at 8.30. But for now, we are not done. So you're gonna find yourself into a squat position. New Position with our legs. Okay, knees can go out ever so slightly as you bend down. We're going to do a squat challenge. So some of you might have played this with me before. I'm going to tell you to go down. You will then go into a down position with your squat. If I say up, you can come up. If I say down and then I say pulse, just want you to half squat it. Okay, you're not going fully up, you're going half, you're keeping the pulse and the strain on those quads. We're going to do that for at least a minute. I know. Remember, listen, if I say down, you go down. If I say up, you come up. If I say pulse, you pulse. A bit like Kieran says. So find your space, get your legs sorted out. Make sure they're there. Pretty key. Right, ready? Yeah, let's go. Down. Yeah, see how low you can go. Up, down, down, up, down, pulse, just a little half squat. Legs are going to start burning. Up, hold it, down, up, down, down, up, down. People who are getting jelly legs up, down. How low can you go on it? See if your bum can touch the floor. Up, oh, down, up. 
We're gonna keep going, we're over a minute. Down, pulse. Yeah, they're going through their legs, guys, come on. Up, down, up, down, up, down, pulse. Down, hold it there, we're gonna let the clock run. Five, four, three, two, one, up you come. Oh. Shake off the legs. Oi, oi, oi. Right, we'll just get you cooled down now. Done well, your legs should be aching. You should have a nice sweat on. You've earned it this Monday, you can smash it. I just want you to hold something. Bring that leg up again. Stretch through your quad. We worked them hard today. Push your hips forward. If I can stay balanced. Push your hips forward. Chest up. Oh yeah. Change the leg over. Hold on to something if you need again. Keep those knees as close together as possible. Tight bend in your in your supporting leg, push those hips forward, and squeeze on your glutes. Hold it there. Lovely, shake it out. You know, same position we did for our sweeps, but this time I just want you to hold that position instead. Point your toes down towards the floor, and just rest your weight on that supporting leg. Hold it there, hold it there. Oh, up you come. Leg in front. Same thing, put your weight onto the other leg. Let the stretch go through the back of your leg. In through your hamstrings. And up you come. Go slightly wider of your legs. We're just gonna pulse again to the side. Nowhere near as deep as we did before in the warm up, just gently to the side, just loosen everything out. It's been a long few weeks of lockdown. It's a lot of Take some time to have a good stretch. Do a bit of mobility work around your hips, around your lower back, just to make sure you're all in check. Come up, the mini rotation in the middle, nice and gentle. Lovely, reach up to the sky and back down. Just nice and controlled. Lovely, we're just gonna do one more thing. Take a neutral stance of your legs. Put one arm up to the sky. This arm's gonna be on your leg. And you're just gonna lean. Oh, there's the lights. Over. Feel the stretch. Bring it back into the middle, other hand up, other hand to the side, and just lean. A little stretch all the way through your side. Bring yourself up, roll those shoulders out, bring them forward, and well done. Top work. Killed it, guys. I'm sweating, I'm puffing. I've got the long hair starting to really sweat. It's annoying. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And make sure you keep coming back here each evening, here each morning. We're all here to help you guys out. Our fitness during it as well, it keeps us in check. Um, I'll personally be back, yeah, 8.30 on Wednesday, get the day right, for my body blast. So if you want to join me for that, it's a good workout, it's killer. If you've got any questions or anything, Whack them down in the comments now. I'm here for a couple minutes just to answer anything you've got. But otherwise, top work. Sorry if I was freezing out at all. Bad internet around here. No worries, Claire. Well done. Top work for t turning up and getting the work done. I wonder how many of you are going to do spinning with uh, Rachel. How many managed to get a bike or 
have access to a bike. Jeez, I've got a swell, haven't I? I was going to start this uh, by saying, hey, hey, all my cool cats and kittens, but I wonder how many of you have seen Tiger King to understand that. No worries, Julie. Come back again next week and see if we can work harder. <laughs> All right, a couple more seconds, guys, and then I'll leave you to the rest of your evenings. But yeah, anything at all, whack them in the comments. Uh, I'll be looking at them after just to make sure you got all, you guys had a good session and if there was any questions or issues, pop them in. I'll answer them. No worries, David. Keep coming up, bud. Hopefully I'll see you in the gym again soon. All right. Ta-ra, guys. Have a good one.